Hello, I am Pio Lakanyo Furi and this is City News Daily on City TV. In today's headline, Supreme Court orders Ghana's Electoral Commission to allow disqualified candidates make corrections on their nomination forms. The details of the story shortly. Today, the Supreme Court gave its verdict in the suit brought before it by the Electoral Commission that challenged the High Court's decision which overturned the disqualification of the flag of the Progressive People's Party, Dr. Papakwesi Indum, from contesting the December 7 poll. The Apex Court has now ordered the electoral body to extend the nomination period to tomorrow to allow presidential aspirants who were disqualified from the race to make corrections on their nomination forms. The judge has also directed that all lawsuits challenging the EC's disqualification of flag bearers be suspended. The seven-member panel of justices presided over by Justice Sophia Adenira said their decision was to enable the EC give hearing to all the parties involved in the legal tussle. So the Accra Psychiatric Hospital has been in the news in recent times and you may recall that nurses there called the strike over what they call the absence of logistics to run the facility. Well, the latest on that is that City News has gathered that authorities at the facility have started discharging patients from the hospital. And also government, as you may recall, released some 300,000 Ghana cities to help the authorities there run the facility. But they said it was woefully inadequate. We will be following this story and update you when necessary. 97.3 City FM, relevant radio, always. Now let's head to the campaign trail and Ofensohene Nana Riafia Kenton on Saturday offered his ceremonials too to President John Jamani Mahama when the president paid a courtesy call on him at his palace. President Mahama, who is on a four-day campaign tour of the Ashanti region, sat on the stool alongside Nana Riafia Kenton, who sat on a different one. Now, some have described this as an odd gesture because tradition does not allow anyone other than the chief to sit on a ceremonial stool. But the chief has denied the report, saying the stool presented to the president was not a ceremonial one. Meanwhile, President John Dramani Mahama has promised to set up a tomato factory to process produce of farmers at Akomadan in the Ofenso municipality of the Ashanti region. He was responding to a request made by the chief of the area while addressing residents as part of his tour there. We can now talk about President Mahama's closest challenger, that's the presidential candidate of the new patriotic party, Nana Ekufuwada. Now, he has reiterated his call to Guineans to reject the John Mahama-led administration on December 7. He says the NDC has failed to deliver on its numerous promises, therefore it does not deserve another term in office. Nanada was addressing residents of the Jomro constituency to wrap up his campaign tour of the Western region. Now, the wife of the running mate to the new patriotic party, Samira Baumier, has said that the NPP will do all it can to ensure that the election in December is not rigged to favor the governing National Democratic Congress. She alleges that polling station results during the 2012 elections were almost altered during counting. Therefore, electorates must be vigilant on election day to prevent polling officers from possibly scheming against the party. Addressing party supporters at Iwutu Bontras during the campaign tour of the central region over the weekend, she advised electorates to be more involved during the counting of ballots this year. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us on 0243-331-999. Evening and weekend classes are also available. That's how we wrap up today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. From the team here, we say thanks for watching. I am Pale Lakanya Ofori.